Hi guys, Candy Toy Box here. Today you are you will need rainbow pony beads, clear, black, and white pony beads. You're also going to need a long piece of string, scissors, a lighter, and a needle. And this is going to be your pattern. So you're going to put on a set of rainbow, three clear, another set of rainbow, three clear, and so on. So there's a total of four rainbows. So if you want to stop this video and then go ahead and get that together and then you're going to tie you're going to tie it to make a bracelet and then on the other end of the string you're going to attach your needle and go through this pink bead and like I said we're using a long piece of string and our pattern is going to be eight black beads And then we're going to add an orange bead. And now we're going to add eight white beads. And we're going to go through this yellow and green. And that's what it looks like. So the middle bead down here is going to match this side up here. So we're going to add eight black beads. Now this bead we know down here is going to be blue. So just look to see what the next bead is. So we need a blue. And then we're going to add eight white beads and we're going to go through the purple and the clear. Okay, we're going to add eight black beads. And our color down here is clear, so we're going to add a clear. Now we're going to add eight white. And we're going to go through this clear and pink. Okay, so just like we started here, we're back at the same spot with the pattern. So we're going to add the eight black with the orange, with the orange um, in the middle, and then the eight white. We're just going to continue to do that. So if you, you can look back because it's going to be the same three patterns. So the next one's going to be orange, blue, clear. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. This is um, the last the last loop that I put on here. And we're going to go through this clear and the pink. And we're going to go through this orange. And we're going to go through all these white. And this orange. And I do want to mention, um, once you get all these loops on, it's going to be a little loose. So what you're going to have to do is go to the front where we started and pull the string and then pull each loop just to tighten up that string a bit. You're just going to go all the way around until it's all tight. So this is what it should look like. Now what we're going to do is twist these so the black is on the top. 
you don't have to do them all at the same time just get a couple going so and we're gonna match our pattern over here and there's gonna be two beads in between so over here our color is yellow and green and we're gonna go through this blue Our two colors over here are purple and clear and we're going to go through this clear. Now you want to make sure that these are the black, you're twisting it and the black is on top. Okay, our two colors over here to match are clear and pink and we're going to go through the orange. Now we're going to add yellow and green. And like I said, if it's easier, you might want to twist them as you go. So twisting this and going through the blue bead. Next color is purple and clear. And we're going to twist this so the black's on top and we're going to go through the clear we're going to add a clear and a pink this one's already twisted over here but we're going to go through the orange we're going to add a yellow and green this one's already twisted over we're going to go through the blue purple and clear. This one's already twisted over. Go through the clear. We're going to add a clear and a pink. And this one needs twisted. So twist it. Go through the orange. We're going to add a yellow and a green. And we're going to twist that over and go through the blue. We're going to add a purple and a clear, and this one needs to be flipped, up, flipped around here. And we're going to go through the clear. And this is our, our last one, so these beads, we need a clear and a pink. And we're going to go through this orange, and I'm going to go through the yellow, because that's where I want to tie it off. So now we need to pull this real tight. Whoops. Might have to mess with it a little bit. And then once you get that side as tight as you like it, go ahead and tie it off a few times. And that's what it looks like. Really, there's a lot of different possibilities. You can flip it the other way if you want more white showing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time.